about the participation of other leaders. Not all of them are there, in, uh, as, as we understand, but the countries are represented. And uh, we can only say and we can only stress what each of these countries, most of them have their individual partnerships with the European Union and we have a very good line of uh, communication and cooperation. So we can only stress what they know anyway. Putin is heading a country which is leading illegal aggression against the neighboring country. So Russia is a country in blatant violation of UN Charter, of international law, and Russia is engaged, led by Putin, it's engaged in an activity that has negative global consequences. And individual members of BRICS, or those who are invited in, uh, to this summit in Kazan, they feel the consequences on their own. For example, the food, uh, food uh, prices, increased food and uh, energy prices. So we trust that all participants of the summit in Kazan will use this event to call on Putin once again to immediately end the war against the Ukrainian people and to stick and respect the principles of UN Charter and international law.